Welcome to the A Day in My Life vlog. Hey guys, good morning. I'm proud to say that not only did I finish my three day juice cleanse alive, but I also went for a run this morning. I mean, I'm still running technically, so here we go. <laughs> and I have to say, I do have a lot more energy now. I think that the juice cleanse was a really good thing to do, and it wasn't that hard. I mean, I felt a bit dizzy and about like, I always felt like I'm about to faint. <laughs> but my stomach and my gut was just like super chill. And so, yeah, that was really nice. Just my brain suffered a little bit. <laughs> like I didn't know what I was doing most of the time. Coming out of the fast, I've eaten very little and very healthy. So I haven't eaten out yet. And I make sure that I use a little bit of very healthy oils and no sugar I'm gonna hug the tree <laughs> So being a YouTuber, as I was hugging the tree, I thought like embarrassing because there's so many people walking past and I was like, this is really weird. But turns out no one gives a flying beep. Somebody has a horse on the balcony. So for those of you who are here for the Sydney content, this is Rush Cutter Bay. It's absolutely beautiful for running and also for sailing. Oh and fish friendly too. But I show you where the sailboats are and I think you can rent them. Ah, oh, yeah, you can, see? You can buy them. And you can have a coffee before you buy your boat and be hang here with the cool people. There they are. There you have it. Me without makeup, apart from the lipstick. I did make a little bit of an effort. And Rush Cutters Bay. We shall continue the run, shall we? And there is a calisthenics park here as well. And I did a chin up earlier, one. But I mean, just saying, I'm, I'm proud of myself that I still have it in me after the tooth clan. But I guess it also makes it easier because I'm lighter now, because now I'm skinny as beef. It is still winter. There you have it. Being fit is not easy, but hopefully it's worth it. I used to always shop here, not at the sellers, <laughs> at this deli. Back in the day, when I was living here in Elizabeth Bay in the Loop, and I might just show you guys then, hey? Since we're here already. Oh my God, I love it so much here. This is, this area is where I lived the second time ever that I came to Australia, which was when I was 24, I think. And it's just so nice here. It's a mix of like apartment blocks and really, really cool, um, expensive villas. 
like this very pretty apartment block and I used to live in this one I know it looks ugly from the outside but it's a Harry Seidler building and Harry Seidler happens to be Austrian he's an Austrian architect very very famous he moved to Australia that's really all I can tell you about him <laughs> and he he is responsible for a lot of buildings in this area um Potts Point, King's Cross and Elizabeth Bay and the layout of those buildings is amazing and the use of space and everything are they pretty no not from the outside but like very very functional on the inside and yeah I lived in this building in I think five different apartments over the years absolutely love it the problem is then they renovated it renovated and like put in like normal size kitchens and everything which takes up more space and they just they really ruined it they took out the bathtubs now it's only showers and it's like yeah unfortunately unfortunately anyway <clears throat> and then i also used to live here i i lived everywhere <laughs> i moved i moved too many times i'm a gypsy but yeah i lived here very very good building Lots of very good memories. I have not lived here yet. So yeah, this is the loop of Elizabeth Bay Road because it loops around here. And I really think ultimately this is where I want to live again in the loop in Elizabeth Bay Road. So if you want to stalk me in the future, I'll be around here. I think this sign has been here for a while. So I opened my hair because I realized I probably look pretty horrible. <laughs> I did not intend to vlog. We've got lots of art deco buildings here. Very interesting architecture around here. Some ugly buildings, some very interesting ones. And this dude is fixing it. Lots of cafes around here. So now the question is, what am I gonna have for breakfast that's super healthy? I think porridge with lots and lots of food in it. Well, let's go to Woolworths then. Everything you could possibly need when you live in Potts Point. I did not bring my shopping bags, but because this was all not planned, it's all very spontaneous. <laughs> which one, which one? How about this one? Well, I didn't want to buy anything, but now I bought like almost the entire store, but it's all healthy and organic, so. There you have it, even black rice. Oh my god, guys, the magnolias have started. Spring is coming. Finally home, I bought everything. <laughs> but it will last me a while and it's all healthy, it's organic, it's fruit and vegetables, so... <laughs> Finally, toilet paper again, hey, look at that is no longer needed and i think i will have breakfast outside this morning because i'm up so early that it's still early enough to have sun on the balcony
really nice to get up early because then I still have sun on the balcony and I've been for a run and I've been shopping and I've been vlogging so I feel very accomplished right now and my porridge <laughs> Okay guys, so I had a shower and now we're gonna put on makeup so you don't have to handle this for much longer. Alrighty then. We are starting with this, which is a primer. Ooh, and then I have one of those makeup sponges. Sponges? Sponges? Here. I forgot about this. So I don't really know how to use those things, but let's figure it out together, shall we? I mean, it does something. I think I need more makeup because the sponge is sort of taking it off my skin. <laughs> Why are we using a sponge? I don't know. But people do it, so let's see. I mean, I'm not hating it. I like it. I guess I'm a makeup sponge person now. Next, eyebrows. We've got this little thing from, I can't read it, but yeah, this brand. Cruelty free, vegan. Ah, Rimmel, Rimmel. So yeah, I always have to do my eyebrows because otherwise they're just weirdly shaped. I want it to be a little bit more straight on the bottom. So yeah, why am I filming this? Because I started watching a girl named... What's her name? Her name is Mei Fang. I started watching her channel. She has 3 million followers. She's awesome. She's really fun. She lives in New York, I guess. That makes it more interesting for people to watch. But um, watch, like, yeah, she has 3 million followers and she's 20 years old. So can't really compete with that but I wrote her a little comment and she liked it so I mean I got like a heart thingy on it and I was like whoa so that's cool that is cool people and now I'm trying to be inspired by her and I'm, I mean I am inspired by her and now I'm trying to also do a little bit of like makeup stuff in my videos <laughs> even though I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm not being sponsored by any brands at the moment. Not yet, but you'll never know. So here is the blusher. That's actually not a blusher. It's Revolution Nudes. It's actually eyeshadows, but I use it as a blusher because it actually works really well. And then a little bit of Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. So yeah, May does like always films herself doing her makeup. And she looks amazing in the end. So let's see if I can manage. So I don't know if you guys want to see me do makeup, but it's happening. <laughs> What's next? Um, eyes. Eyes. Let's do something. Let's do something with the eyes, shall we? First, a little bit of this highlighter thing on the bottom. Then, what else do we have in here? There it is. Okay, then we do this. It's a very delicate operation. Like so many times I've been sticking this underneath my eyelid and it, it hurts and it's not good. So, let's focus and not talk. By the way, if you're hearing G, that's this stupid vent that I have here. It's like super annoying. But I will talk to building management and ask them if they can fix it. 
so that it's not so loud. And it's actually quite windy in here <laughs> from the vent. So I don't know if that's really necessary. I had a better eyeliner from Neutrogena that I bought in New York last year and I absolutely loved it. And it was cheap too and it was the best thing ever and it would last all day. And yeah, unfortunately I ran out. So now I have to go back to New York to get a new one because they don't have them here. So here I'm using Maybelline. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's okay, it's not horrible. Next, I will put on this thing. Also red long. Brands I have, but yeah, if you want to sponsor me, go right ahead. So, we're putting this on the eyelids, and also, I have to say that my skin looks so much better since I um, did the juice cleanse. I really, uh, after three days of juice cleanse, I looked in the mirror without makeup, and I was like, This is acceptable. I don't know if you guys know how old I am, but yeah, I'm. I ain't young, let's put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's always a win when you look in the mirror without makeup and you're thinking, that's not too bad. And it wasn't after the juice cleanse, and it's still actually pretty good, I have to say. Alrighty then. What am I looking for? Like my brain, my brain is still a little bit slow after the juice cleanse. Ah yeah, I know what I'm looking for. In the meantime, let's put on a little bit of this lip balm. Mm, very nice. And I am digging. Aha! Got it. Okay, so now this is the most, most, most delicate moment here. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. First, 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 let's put on this guy. Hold on. This guy is better. So I've got two of those. Natio. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I think they are an Australian brand. And they are like eyeshadow sticks. And I think this lighter one is actually better. Because I suck with brushes, that's why I'm doing this. I don't know, I feel like it's easier, you can't really go wrong, even though I think I <clears throat> beeped it up a little bit here. How about we follow up with the darker one? Amazing! Amazing! Okay, and now, now the eyeliner. Yeah, sort of acceptable. And then, ah, the eyeliner, by the way, cover girl. And now, also cover girl, clean, vegan, um, what's it called? Mas mascara. So my eyelashes, unfortunately, never cooperate. They don't wanna like curl up like they should. So once in a while I'm actually getting a lash perm, which is super annoying. It takes like an hour and like they actually perm your lashes to go up. It's also called lash lift. And I mean it sort of works, it makes them go up and then, so now they're like halfway back to normal. So then I just have to, you know, curl them up like this. Because I don't like those curling machine thingies. They are scary. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, hello. Cool. I think, I think this is it. And now let's finish this off with my favorite perfume. Also, I got this in New York. And it's from Rituals. And I couldn't, like, I got it two years ago in New York. Two years ago? I was I in New York? No, I wasn't in New York two years ago. It was still COVID. But I mean, yeah. It, before COVID, when I was there the last time, that's when I got it and it's almost done now. And it just reminds me of New York because smells forever remind me. And I think today, today, yes. 
it smells so good. I love this thing. And yes, so last time when I went to New York, I couldn't find it. They didn't have it anymore. But I shall go to New York again and I will search everywhere for it because it's awesome. Okay, now let's do something to the hair, which is probably just going to be nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like I'm not really amazing with my hair. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay. She'll be alright, mate. And yeah, so I think. What are we going with today? Are we gonna do something with it? I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Let's brush it a little bit, shall we? Okay guys, so what's happening today? I'm vlogging <laughs> and I don't really have a plan, but after what I've already done, accomplished today, I do have, technically, I don't have a rehearsal or anything happening today, so I sort of have the day off, but a YouTuber never has a day off, plus a musician never has a day off and I'm both. So what I will do next is I will practice, even though my neighbor is going to hate it. But I have to prepare for a concert, a big, big, big show that I have tomorrow in Chatswood, performing with a singer called Ohanis. Don't know if I'm pronouncing him right. But yeah, that's gonna be a huge show. He's like very famous um, overseas, and but he is Aussie. For that, and then why not go outside and I'll show you a little bit more of Sydney. But first I have to clean up breakfast. Also the t-shirt I stole from the boyfriend. It was too small for him, so he he yeah, he gave it to me and I love it. It has a guitar. And the necklace he bought me in the Blue Mountains when we went on a little holiday. So quick relationship updates. Everything is fine, everything is good again. It was um <clears throat> um we decided, or first it was him making the decision and then we agreed that it's better not to live together at this stage. And that's fine. Like I do miss him because yeah, everything is great between us now again. And, but I guess people who have only been seeing each other for three months should not move in into a tiny one bedroom apartment. So that's the relationship guru speaking here right now. Do not attempt to move in right away, especially if the space is too small for the two of you. That's just like, nobody can handle that. And we actually handled it pretty well. So I just realized I completely forgot lipstick. <laughs> and we're back with lipstick on. This is Revlon number 770, in case you're here for the makeup tutorial. <laughs> Alrighty then. iPad, because I'm cool and modern. Like in my first few episodes, I was talking about buying an iPad and ta-da, I finally bought one. It took me a while. But yeah, these days for a lot of gigs, you actually need an iPad because they send the files through and then you just have them right away. You don't have to print them. Get on glasses because, because I'm old and wise and stylish. Mute because my neighbors suck. Actually not the one who is like right next to my bedroom wall because I met her and I told her I'm so sorry have, like I'm practicing and is it annoying you? And she said, no, I can barely hear it. So she's actually nice. But the other one who is not even like behind this wall because there's a living woman, then there she is lurking. <laughs> she's the one who absolutely hates me and hates me practicing and I mean, I'm sorry, like if you're watching this, I'm really sorry, but I'm a musician and I hardly ever practice anyways. The foot pedal for turning pages. And now the procrastinating has ended and the work will start. I mean, I have to say, being so healthy, it feels good. I mean, I also love pizza and pasta and like eating chocolate all the time, which I have done for the last few months. But I do have more energy now, it is true. It is really about the fuel and what you put into your body. What can I say? 
but it's difficult especially when you want to grab something when you're out and about but i think what i will do is just when i'm out and about i will just grab smoothies and juices fresh freshly squeezed healthy juices obviously yeah because even salads you know people put like sugary dressings on them so you have to be careful if you want to be healthy like me it's a very new thing for me to be healthy so it only started on monday and today is friday so yeah here we are the health guru oh also i'm going to melbourne next week so stay tuned i will vlog in melbourne i'm very excited to go there i'm playing for a really cool movie production i'm gonna do the soundtrack not just me with three others we are gonna be a string quartet so i have to practice that too it's it's not very hard but yeah i want to play really well because i want to watch that movie and i will be like oh my god i played this so yeah, I will put the title of the movie in the description because right now I forgot what it's called. Once the movie's out, I will put like more info in the description. But now we're gonna practice this stuff for tomorrow, shall we? And it's a lot. It is a lot. Alrighty then. <laughs> Bridge over troubled water. So the boyfriend just called and interrupted my practicing. Things are so good with us now. I they have to stay like this. But yeah, so I'm gonna see him tonight, which I wasn't planning on, but I mean, definitely not complaining. So yeah, I was a little bit down in the last week. I was just really busy with work and like, yeah, trying to figure out like relationship stuff, but we figured it all out now. So the relationship guru will talk to you soon. I have wobbly fat here, that's, that's no good. I think I need to exercise more. <clears throat> I need to do arm stuff. Anyway, back to practicing. Back to the grind. Okay, now guess the song. I think you can guess it and let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna say what it is, otherwise I get copyrighted. <laughs> then. <laughs> okay and now i'm starving and i'm gonna eat something healthy let's go <laughs> decided to get it for takeaway because that way I can sit in the grass in my favorite park and earth myself. It's such a nice day. It's still winter so yeah the trees are still bare but I mean it's warm enough. Actually nice. Elizabeth Bay House. <laughs> oh my god, those magnolias have started.
So I think I will have one and the other one I will leave for the boyfriend when he comes home hungry after his gig home when he comes back to my place <laughs> to visit. So now I'm thinking maybe I should eat the other one too because it was really good. And also the boyfriend said he doesn't want to eat when he comes home. I keep saying comes home. When he comes to my place late at night after the gig. So, and if he's really hungry, then he can have the avocado toast. I'm a terrible girlfriend. <laughs> but I mean, also, it's not gonna keep. It's like all fresh stuff in there. It's like, no, I have to eat it. I have to eat it. It's the right thing to do. There is a girl behind me, sun baking topless. Good on her. I like it. Like I, I'd be a, a bit like, I don't know, it's a park. <laughs> it's not the beach because <laughs> it's winter. But yeah, she must be European. But yeah, good on her. Winter in Sydney, what can I say? Okay, so I think I've earthed myself enough now and I think I will be heading home now to do a little bit more practicing and then I need to send an application for an orchestra. It's very promising. I will tell you more if I actually get the job. It's a part-time position and they would fly me in for gigs and it's not in Australia. And it's, it's in a very, very exciting place. So, yeah, stay tuned. Oh my god, there's always spider webs. I don't know if you can see, but it's there and it's terrifying. So now I'm home. I'm really just filling out forms, working on my resume and sending my application to this very, very cool orchestra that I will tell you all about once it actually happens. <laughs> Okay guys, so there will be a little bit more of practicing and then there will be editing and then there will be a very healthy dinner. So just imagine that because I think we're gonna wrap it up here. So this is a day in my life in Sydney. There will be much more. If you're here for the Sydney content, I will take you places. Don't you worry about it. Just please hit subscribe and then you will see. And if you're here for like relationship advice and everything, there will be relationship advice. And if you're here for like healthy eating, there will be more of that. And if you're here for makeup advice, well, I mean, you probably better look somewhere else. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe you learned something. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.